What is the difference between deductive and inductive reasoning? Watch this video to find out and to hear about some examples that will clarify these concepts for you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Maria and on this channel I explain different child development concepts as well as give you strategies to help you whether you are a parent, educator, or someone who works or cares for young children. So what is the difference between deductive and inductive reasoning? First let's define each type of reasoning and we will start with deductive reasoning. Imagine you're Sherlock Holmes or a really good detective solving a mystery. Deductive reasoning is like putting together puzzle pieces. It starts with a general statement, also known as a premise, and then using that premise to reach a specific logical conclusion. So what does this mean? Here's an example of deductive reasoning. Let's say our premise or general statement is that all cats have claws. Here's my cat Loki. Loki is a cat, therefore we can deduce that he has claws, which can be quite sharp unless I trim them, which I do for my survival. So deductive reasoning is about moving from the general statement of all cats having claws to the specific assumption that because Loki is a cat, we can assume that he has claws. Now let's shift gears to inductive reasoning. Pretend that you are a scientist making observations. Inductive reasoning involves making generalizations based on specific observations. It's like building a broad understanding from specific instances. If we observe that the sun rises every morning without fail, we might induce the generalization that the sun always rises in the morning. It's about moving from the specific to the general. Deductive and inductive reasoning are powerful tools, but they have their differences. Deductive reasoning guarantees the truth of the conclusion if the premises are true. So if there is some cat out there that doesn't have claws, then that general statement will not be true to that cat. On the other hand, inductive reasoning only suggests the probability of the conclusion being true based on observations. What if we didn't observe a morning where the sun did not rise, such as most of December in Barrows, Alaska? Deductive reasoning is precise and reliable, but it requires accurate premises. If the initial statement is false, the conclusion will also be false. So if it's false that all cats have claws, then the conclusion we draw about cats would be false. And so far, I don't know of any cats that don't have claws unless someone declaws their cat, which is not good for the cat, so please don't declaw your cat. But that topic deserves its own video, but not on this channel. Then we have inductive reasoning, which can be flexible, but not certain. Generalizations may not always hold true in every circumstance, such as Barrows, Alaska, not having a sunrise in December because it's dark all day and where the sunrise and sunset both occur around 2 p.m. during that month. That would be weird to experience. Again, a different video on a different channel. Or let's go back to the topic of cats, because who doesn't like talking about cats? What if you observed a whole bunch of cats and their response to catnip and you saw that all of the cats observed went bonkers for catnip so you concluded that all cats like catnip? Well, that would be an incorrect conclusion since studies show that only 50 to 70% of cats react to catnip. My cats Thor and Loki love catnip but I had a previous cat who did not care for it at all. Anyway, these reasoning methods are just theoretical concepts. We use deductive and inductive reasoning everywhere in our daily lives. Policemen use deductive reasoning to solve crimes, while scientists use deductive reasonings to develop theories. As a parent, you may use deductive reasoning to figure out who painted your walls by seeing the paint on one of your child's hands. Both are essential tools in our cognitive toolkit, helping us navigate the complexities of life. So the next time you're faced with a puzzle or trying to draw conclusions, think about whether you're taking the deductive or inductive route. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. Then subscribe for more content about the application of child development concepts. For another video about child development, watch this one. And thanks for watching and see you in the next one.